and they can easily become your fan on Facebook right from your website. So any page of your website, you drop it in the layout, so if they went to any page of the site, they would see that widget. And there's other versions of this widget, shows all the latest posts on the fan page. And if we flip over to Facebook, we're going to see this is a fan page on Facebook that I run. And these are all the posts. And you'll see that that corresponds to what's showing up over here on my website. So uh, that is a really important thing to have on your website and on your blog so you can get more fans from your website traffic. So that's, and where you find the ability to integrate that is Facebook maintains a really great page of social plugins and everything from the like button, the send button, follow, comment. Comments is great because you can add the Facebook comment box to any post on your website, which I have. So if you go to a particular post on my, and this is a WordPress blog, WordPress Power Blog, you'll see I have the comment box right here. So if I were to, someone were to come and post on this and say, you know, great post, um, and comment, this will post right to Facebook. And so all their friends will see that, that the person added a comment, and now if we flip on over to, to Facebook and look at my Facebook page, you will see that, and it'll show up in the status update down the middle of the page for all my all the uh, people who are friends with me. So now there it is. See, I went and made a comment on the blog, and it automatically shows my Facebook. So now all my friends are going to see that, and they may click here and come back to my okay. website to so add another visitor via that method. Okay, yeah, you um, are. Many, many plugins. The like box is the one that shows you initially in here. So well, all you would do um, is the best way for them to do it is to go to authorinspector.com and re-register you would on the web again. Wait, one second everyone, I'm just gonna mute mute everybody. <laughs> um let's go to my fan page. And you would grab the URL of your fan page up at the top. You would go to you drop it in here. And voila, it creates the fan widget. And then you get code. Ready. Yeah. Ready. It, gives you, it gives you the code that you drop into your website layout. And then it would start showing up on the site. Okay. Let me mute everyone. I'm getting some feedback. Um, oh, well, everyone looks muted, so I guess I'll just power through. Anyway, everyone just try to be as quiet as possible, and then we can open it up to questions later. So once you decide which plugins you want to install on your site, you should, you should look to integrate Facebook into every aspect of what you do because it's absolutely the thing to do. Um, and these are all the different ways to integrate. And after the, um, the webinar, I'm going to share this page with everybody so you can come back to this. The next thing I wanted to show you is share this. Share this is another way to make your site more social. Um, and you would go to sharethis.com. And then, you know, they're a very fast growing company, as you can see. And you go into get sharing tools. And then you, you choose what kind of website you operate. And WordPress, it has all the different integrations for all the different types. So let's say you had a WordPress site. You would, it would give you, there's a plugin that you would add. So you would go through that step-by-step that -step functionality. Let's say you had a regular website. Whoops. Hello, can you hear me? OK. OK, sorry. I thought I, I thought I dropped everyone. So let's say you had a, a regular website, and then you click your style. And let's say you want to put buttons on your or link or these type of sharing buttons. Now, I have some sharing buttons on my site. So and you can customize it. You can pick which, which sharing buttons you want to appear on your site. And you know you can move them over. And you know whatever you choose, you finish and get the code. 
you can put the like button in here, you can put you know, the subscribe, the recommend. These are all just different sharing links that appear on the pages and posts that you're dropping the code into. Click finish and get the code. They're going to ask you to create an account. And then it gra you grab the code and you drop it into your site layout. So for example, on my website, you'll see over here. Here are my share the sharing buttons. So on this particular page of the site, and one of my visitors comes to the site, and let's say they want to tweet this page. So they click the Twitter button, and it takes them right to Twitter, and boom, they can tweet the page. So that, therefore, makes your site more shareable. Um, okay, so that's um, another wonderful sharing tool to make your site more shareable. And it will increase traffic, because when people share it, then their, you know, their friends see it on Twitter or Facebook or wherever you share it to. And, and therefore, you know, you're going to get that repeat traffic and more exposure. Um, so the other, okay, so let's move right along to live chat. Live chat is really awesome. Um, this is something I'm pretty, uh, you know, um, one of my favorite recommendations. Um, so I've just enabled myself on Google, Google Chat, which is tied into a tool called Olark, which powers the live chat on my website. So now if you go back to my website, Go to the home page, and in a second, this little chat widget's going to pop up. This is a, there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Can we help you with anything? This is a great way to interact with your website visitors. A lot of people that run websites and blogs, they don't know who comes to their website because they have no way of really interacting with those people um, unless they, you know, join the email list or like them on Facebook or follow them on Twitter but they never have a chance to interact. So if you're coming to my website, I've just proactively in, engaged with you. So um, I have a question, you know, what is affiliate marketing? And since I own the website, this is going to pop up a little message in my mail that says, hey, thanks for stopping by, and there it is. What is affiliate marketing? Oh, it's a great way to refer people and earn commissions. And so the, the site visitor will then see my answer. There it is. See, Evan said it's a great way to refer people and earn commissions. So now I'm interacting with a site visitor. And let's say they say, you know, um, where's your forum? Um, okay, my forum, grab the link, you know, where's your forum? I won't go on and on with this because it's pretty self-explanatory, but where's your forum? It's right here. And you can sort of guide them around. Let's say they're looking for us, you know, um, and boom, there's the link. So then they can click and go visit my forum. But if you're an you know, doing an affiliate thing, then, you know, they might ask, you know, where's the Macy's coupon? Or do you have any coupons for Dell? Do you have any coupons for Best Buy? And if you're an affiliate of them and you have a page on your site with the, your, you know, tracking code, your affiliate tracking code, then you can sort of direct them around your site and interact with your site visitors. And it's a really awesome way to interact with your website visitors and really bond with them. And, you know, you can ask them, you know, where do you live or, you know, do you have a website? Or you know, if you want to take it to that level, you can. If not, you just sort of keep it superficial and just answer their questions. So that's a really great, great way, you know, I like to interact with my website visitors and guide them around and answer their questions. And so they don't have to call me, but, you know, they can call if they want. But um, it's a great way to sort of anonymously, you know, interact with people. So let's jump on back. So those are the, so let's, let's talk about sweepstakes because sweepstakes are a great way to not only grow fans on Facebook, but gather email addresses. So... Right now, we're running my company, my agency. We manage affiliate programs, and we work with a lot of affiliates and different types of people. So we run these sweepstakes, and, and affiliates can run sweepstakes. You can run them on your site, and you can get your prizes from your, your advertisers. You can ask them, people you're affiliated with, and say, you know, would you like to sponsor our sweepstakes? We're give, we want to give away a prize. We have, you know, 1,000 subscribers. We have 2,000 fans. We have a whole bunch of site traffic and we'll feature your prize in our contest, and we'll give away your prize to one lucky winner. So that's a really great way to you know, bond with your advertisers you're affiliating with. 
and also whip up some excitement. So let's go on over back to my fan page. And all you affiliates out there should be running fan pages on Facebook because it's just a great way to group people into Facebook into your, you know, and, and expose them to your content and really get a captive audience on Facebook. So, um, you know, when you run, run a sweepstakes, and I'll show you the tool we use, it's called WooBox. This is a tool, that it, it, is, it is a paid tool, it's $29 a month, but you can sort of drop in and out. There's a free version, you can make custom tabs and coupons, um, and $29 a month you get all the functionality. You can run photo contests, instant win, Pinterest contests, Twitter contests, sweepstakes, you can do coupons. Some of this stuff is sort of merchant related, but you can definitely, as an affiliate, run sweepstakes and um, through this tool. So um, basically what happens is, let me just go ahead and log in real quick and show you the back end because it's really, really awesome. Um, once you set up a sweepstakes, you're going to see, here it is. So um, the March Madness sweepstakes. Let me just make sure it's just the current one. So this, is, this shows you all the people that entered the sweepstakes, first of all. Um, I just launched it today, so it's just starting. So it shows you how many people are interacting with it. Now, if you go, gander on over here to my fan page, it actually installs a tab in your fan page. Um, it connects, and I just created a little graphic. So this is how the sweepstakes is going to appear. It runs as a Facebook app, so it plugs right into your fan page. So. Um, basically, let me go ahead and unlike my page real quick so you see like what a, what a person who hasn't become your fan on Facebook will see. So let's say a person comes to your website, you have a graphic or a post that says, you know, you want to win an iPad mini, enter our sweepstakes. And you can put this on your blog or your site. Um, you can post it on your Facebook page or Twitter, um, your Facebook profile, and the people who aren't fans. So it'll say, click the button above to reveal the entry form. So this is for non-fans. If, if it's a fan already, they won't see this like button. So right now, I just got an additional fan just by running the sweepstakes. Now, it's going to prompt to tweet this. If they don't have Twitter, they don't have to tweet it. And then, let me just go ahead and put in a different email address because I've already entered. And click Enter. Boom. It prompts me to share. On, on Twitter, um, first it goes, here's Facebook. Um, so now, um, so the way the sweepstakes works is for every, every friend of the person who enters the sweepstakes that enters the sweepstakes, you get three additional entries. So right now I'm sharing this on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page. So if we now pop over to my Facebook page, we just look in my Facebook, this is my main feed. Sometimes you don't see your posts in your main feed, and sometimes you do. It's kind of kind of weird how they, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But all my friends will see that I entered the sweepstakes. And so there it is. Enter this great sweepstakes. And now all my friends are seeing that on Facebook right now, the ones who are checking their status updates right now. So that's one way of not only growing fans, but gathering email addresses and getting tweets. So over time, you're going to be able to build your email list, gain tweets, and so let's let's pop on over to Twitter, and let's look at let's look at some mentions. And this is this Connect tab will show you all the people that referenced the Experience Advertising Twitter account. Um, so, boom, there's there's mine. Okay, I just did that, and here's Nancy's. She did it previously. Here's someone who shared about the webinar. Here's Kathy shared the sweepstakes. Kristen shared the sweepstakes. So as you can see, I'm getting a lot of mentions on Twitter right now just because I'm running the sweepstakes, which is going to get me more followers on Twitter, which is just going to grow my network. And so I'll have more people to expose my stuff to. And likewise, you can expose your affiliate stuff in the same way. As you get more followers on Twitter, you're going to be able to expose your post pages that are marketing different affiliate companies with their deals and just growing your Twitter network just by running a sweepstakes. So sweepstakes are huge. They're probably my number one recommendation to everyone. You know, all the biggest companies have their own sweepstakes and all the way down to the smallest affiliate can run sweepstakes. So they're just it's just a really great way to build 
Uh, and so it's nice because you can share it to your wall. You can invite friends. You know, I can. It pulls up my friends. I can invite them one by one. And so the people entering your sweepstakes will be able to do the same thing. So if I want to, you know, invite her and invite him and and this person, and I could send them an email. It'll basically send them a Facebook message that says, "Evan has invited you to enter sweepstakes." And then I can share it on Twitter and get some. So every day I can come here and I can share it again and get more entries into the sweepstakes. So that's how it goes viral. When I share, the other people that enter share, and their friends see it, they enter, they share, and so on and so forth, like the hair commercial. You know, she told two friends and so on and so on. That's really how you go viral in social media by running sweepstakes of, of this type. So, um, okay, so we've talked about the plugins, we've talked about the sharing tools, we've talked about live chat, we've talked about sweepstakes. Um, let's talk about Hootsuite because when you're working on multiple social networks, you're definitely going to want to use a tool to manage it all. So here's some of the pages we manage and some of my own personal profiles. And you can actually see the streams from here's a Twitter, here's my Twitter stream, here's my Twitter mentions. Um, here, this is like a one-stop shop for you to manage all your social networks. And it is a paid service. I think I pay $9 a month for this. But it's totally worth it. Um, over time, it becomes more worth it as you, you know, build up more and more and you're able to share with more people and interact with more people. So, um, you know, this is everything popping up on my Facebook right now. So I can interact, I can comment, I can like right here and it does it right on Facebook for me. So I, I can literally do all my social networking. So let's say, okay, Frugal Girls posted. Oh, that's cool. You know, shows you how many likes. You know, I can make a comment right here. And this posts it right to Facebook. So that's this is a way I can literally manage my Facebook stream. Oh, PetFlow has a new, a new deal. That's cool. I can click here and go like it. It doesn't let you like everything right in here. It doesn't. Sometimes you got to go to Facebook and, and do the action, but it definitely shows you your feed and lets you do some commenting and some interaction. Similarly, I have my LinkedIn up here, so I'll get all my different. Um, these are all my different LinkedIn connections and what what they're doing, and you know I can see. Uh, it's basically I can. Monitor, here's my Twitter, so I can really see what's going on on all those social networks. Just through this one tool. Now, let's say I want to share something with the world, okay, on all my social networks. So we just did a press release um, for the sweepstakes, and press releases are also another really great way to market a website that is fairly inexpensive. There's ereleases.com, there's PR Web. Um, so let's say I want to share the world with this, share the world about. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll copy the title, um, and I'll go to Hootsuite. And so up here, you, you click Compose a Message. I'll paste in the title. And then I'll go back to the press release. I'll grab the URL up here. Boom, back to Hootsuite. Put it here because this shortens the link so you can add more to the message. Like on Twitter, they only allow you 140 characters. So you have to use shortened URLs. And then I'll throw a hashtag in here. And this, this helps you get more exposure and group stuff on Twitter. So this would be like um, hashtag affiliate something like that. It actually went one space over, so um, you know, sometimes you've got to clean it up a little bit or, or use a smaller uh, word, um, win. Let's just put win. And then you pick your social networks. Here's Twitter. Here's Facebook. Here's my fan page. Here's my LinkedIn accounts. And then it generates a little preview, which is nice. You can also schedule it. Let's say I want this to go out tomorrow. I could literally set this up to go out tomorrow at a, at a particular time. So that's that's really awesome. Um, I do some scheduling. I don't do a lot of scheduling. But if you're managing a fan page for a company or yourself and you want to schedule a whole month's worth or a whole week's worth of posts, you can do so, which is really awesome. And then you could just set it and go. I don't really recommend, you know, not checking the fan page for the responses. But, you know, if you did want to take a lot of the, you know, um, spontaneity out of it, you could literally schedule a week's worth of posts and just it'll do it automatically. So click send now and I've just shared this information. So I'm going to wait for it to finish. Boom, posted. Now if I go over to my Facebook and I'm just going to go to my main feed. There's Jimmy. Um, this is my fan page. So there it is. Boom. Posted right in the feed. 
So this is through one of the, this is my fan page, so it posted via my fan page. It also posted via my personal profile, so if I click to my personal profile, boom, there it is. Now if I go on over to Twitter, you will see, you'll see it as well. Minus any slow loading time. Doesn't seem to be going and doing um, okay. Anyway, there it is. Oh no, it's not there. But it should be. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong, on, on the wrong tab. Go to me. There it is. So, uh, experience our time launches March Madness. So, and if I go over to LinkedIn. you're going to see it on LinkedIn as well as soon as it gets there. So I'll flip back in a second. Sometimes these screens take a while to load. So listen, that's Hootsuite. Hootsuite is extremely high on my recommendation list if you're managing anything social. just keeps everything organized and, and makes your life a whole lot easier. So there we are. Let's see, let's see if I'm showing up. Sometimes you don't see yourself in the main feed, but then if I go to myself, my profile, there I am. Oh, it will definitely show up here. Um, hold on one sec. Let me go back to the main feed, and they probably just delayed a little bit. But I promise you it will show up. Okay, it's not showing up yet, but there it is. Experience advertising launches March minus sweepstakes. So I've literally posted across four different venues with one in one swoop. So that's that's super productive. Um, let's talk about Facebook real quick because Facebook is a great place to market stuff. Now the thing about affiliate links and Facebook is you can't you can't necessarily grab a link. Let's say you're a Commission Junction affiliate or a link share affiliate or a share sale affiliate. You can't necessarily grab your affiliate referral link and just paste it into Facebook because it doesn't take it well. What you have to do is create a page on your website and then share the URL on Facebook, the page URL about the merchant you're affiliating with and their, and their wonderful deal. That will show up to your, all your friends. So that's, that's how you need to do that. But, um, you know, one of the nice things Facebook does is, is you can add friends, you know, people you may know. Okay, I don't know who this guy is with no shirt on, but whatever. I'll just add him as a friend because we have 102 mutual friends. So one thing I like to do is go here periodically, and I like to add friends, you know. But I don't just add anyone. I look and see who these people are and see how many mutual friends we have. You know, that guy looks cool. Um, you know, I just shoot him, shoot him friends, you know. You know, Facebook is going to prompt you to do all kinds of stuff. Here's a guy that's in the industry. Um, send him a friend request. So that's just one way of building up your friends. Um, and over time, you should add as many friends as possible on Facebook, and so you have more people to market your stuff to. But you shouldn't just market your stuff. You should be sharing, you know, all types of things with them. Helpful articles. You know, let me go to my my uh, profile. You can see the type of stuff I share. Um, I share stuff about my company, of course. Some of my friends over here. Um, that's the thing I commented on. Keep going down, you know, about the webinar, the food I ate today. Um, a thing about LinkedIn. Um, all types of stuff. So you go, you go down my timeline. A bunch of sweepstakes over here. You're going to see all types of stuff. Cats needing adoption you know, different types of apps, different promotions from our clients, um, musicians I'm into, uh, quotes from Abraham Lincoln. So I'm mixing around a lot of different things into my profile. These are things that are, interest me that I want to share with the world. And so that's what I do. Jimi Hendrix is always a big part of what I do because he's my favorite person. But um, So you'll see him a lot if you follow me. And... Um, so that's, you know, that's being a good social networker is really just adding friends, doing a good job of social networking, 
Um, another thing I like to do that I can't stress enough is, um, you know, interacting. So let's say, you know, this guy, Danny Sullivan, who's a pretty um, well-respected guy in search, um, you know, let's say, you know, he posted something, you know, great article. You know, I, I do a lot of interacting like that. I'll just go down the timeline and, you know, I'll just, you know, look at things and like them and, you know, um, you know, comments on things and um, share things and uh, it's I mean you can literally go on for days just interacting with your friends on Facebook and sharing comments and liking the more you do that the more they're going to do it to you which makes your stuff go viral the more you interact with other people the more they're going to do it there's my stuff showing up in my t in the main status updates there's you know um, so you know I might I might you know share this and you know now all my friends will see this. So, you know, that's you can do the same thing on, on LinkedIn as well and on Twitter. Twitter is more of a retweet and reply and, and you know comment thing. Um, you know, here's a you know here uh, on LinkedIn, which I'll get to in, in a second. I just want to spend about five minutes on it. You can do LinkedIn is very similar to Facebook now. They've done a great job. Um, of making it more like Facebook recently. So they're forcing interaction, forcing people to interact because people don't interact by nature, you know, necessarily. So the social networks, you know, roll out functionality so people will be forced, I call it forced social interaction, but whatever it takes to get people interacting, I guess. Um, so you can comment, like, send message, um, just like you can on Facebook. So the other nice thing about LinkedIn is you can add friends, add contacts really easy. Easily, as you can see, I, I have a lot of contacts. I have 6,800 contacts. I've been working this for seven or eight years, and I'm a very prolific social networker, I guess you could say. Um, one of the cool things is they suggest people you may know, so you go into see more, and then it'll bring up a page, and you know you can start connecting with people. Connect, boom, boom, boom. What I'm doing right now is I'm sending LinkedIn invitations to these people. Um, and if they say no, they say no. Um, usually they don't. Usually they, uh, they accept. Oh, that one looks good, and oh, he, why not him? And so these, these are usually people in your, in your genre, in your niche, and they have a way of figuring that out. Um, the other way to add people is going into Add Connections, and then basically you can, you can connect your email account. AOL, Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, Hotmail. You can literally connect your email account to LinkedIn, and it will. It actually won't connect to this because I've done it before. And but what it'll do is it'll pull up a list of all of your connections that are on LinkedIn and send them all invitations for you. And you can screen through them one by one and who you want and who you don't. The other nice thing you can do is you can upload a contact file. Let's say you export your Outlook's contact. You can out export a you know a CSV file from Outlook. You can upload it, and you can send them all LinkedIn invites. These, these are what's called mass invites, mass friend invites, or mass connection invites. Similarly, you can paste you know, 100 or you know, 1,000 emails in here and send them all invitations. So I definitely encourage you to use LinkedIn's you know, add connections features. Now let's go into groups for a second, because groups is fantastic. Um, groups, you can join different groups in different industries, and you can you know, share your content, you can start discussions, you can interact with people, and it's a great way to meet other people on LinkedIn and do business. Um, this is one of the groups I run that I'm, I launched about three years ago. It has almost 13,000 members. Um, and so you can see that it's, it's like a discussion forum, and it shows you how many people join the group and all the different discussions going on. You can actually email blast the entire group once every seven days, which is fabulous, cause, and it shows you all the members. Um, this group just grows. I've invited a lot of people to it, but it just grows on its own volition organically, and you know, probably by a couple hundred members a month. So I can reach out to any of these people and, and, and say hi and say, hey, can we do business together any any time I want? When you join groups on LinkedIn, you can connect to up to 500. You can actually reach out to 500 other group members of any particular group and, and connect with them and send them a message on LinkedIn without being connected to them on LinkedIn which is really nice. And you can join up to 50 groups. So let's just go into jobs really, really quick because they just redesigned jobs today, actually. So, um, you know, LinkedIn Jobs is a great place to find a new job, a new career. You can connect with companies. You can 
email them your profile, your resume, and you can really, um, you know, see someone's interacting with me right now. Um, prompting me still there. Um, okay, so there's making sure I'm still there. This is my website chat. It's a really, really awesome tool you should definitely check out. Um, so jobs, definitely check out LinkedIn Jobs. You can post a job. You can find a new job. So it's a great way to, and news is pretty awesome too. Um, you can customize your different news sections and every day in your LinkedIn you're going to see articles in your, in your different industry. I'm into advertising and marketing so it's going to show me articles related to, and I can share them, I can share them into my groups, I can comment, um, you know, just getting my social network on. Um, and the more I do this, and I, I probably spend five or six hours a day just social networking in, in these various ways. And it just brings me more exposure and, and you know, gets my name out there more and brings, brings me business. So, um, you know, uh, let's talk really, really quick about Facebook management fan page management. So, you know, a lot of people say you should only post a couple times a week, but I completely disagree. I think you should post a few times a day. Um, you know, these are some of my fans, um, my 4,800 fans on this particular page. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll just come in here and say, you know, hope everyone is having a great day, that type of thing. You know, or have a great day, a great weekend. How about that? And uh, I can even promote it, which segues into promoted posts. These are this this basically ensures that a large percentage of my fans on the page will see this post. So let's say I wanted to do a ten dollar post, and it's going to reach between nine hundred and ten and one point six k, one thousand six hundred and ninety, and it's basically going to make sure people see it. So what this is doing is making sure people see my post. And a lot of companies don't do this, but it's, it's super effective. And every post I promote gets a ton of, a ton of exposure. Um, for instance, let me go to the sweepstakes post. And I thought I promote, yeah, I promoted it earlier today. Um, see, this is promoted for $30. I threw $30 down on that post. Um, and by the end of the post, it's going to have hundreds of likes. Um, so when people comment, you know, the other thing you should you should have with a fan page is, is the face, uh, Facebook Pages app on your phone. Um, they have it for iOS and Android, and basically lets you manage your fan page right from your phone. Everyone who runs a fan page should have that app, and therefore you can respond 24/7 to, to the people. Um, so let's um, you know I've, I've touched on a lot of this stuff. Um, let's let me show you you know Affiliate Summit. Everyone should know about Affiliate Summit. If you don't, it's a, the absolute best conference for affiliate marketing. And it gets thousands of attendees. It's just a great place to meet people. They have a forum. This is the forum that um, I post a lot of content on. And um, you can see how many views people are seeing my content. Um, different posts get different view amounts, depending on how popular they are. But you can go to, these are a lot of articles I've written you know, stuff about maximizing your traffic and marketing your website without a penny, spending a penny, increasing conversion rate, running your social media. These are all articles that I've written and composed over the last year or so that will teach you how to do online marketing and basically everything I know I'm putting into these articles. So you can, you know, hyper, hyper warp into, you know, where you need to be just by reading these articles. I'm quite confident of that. And then if you have any questions, you can ask me, and we can have a conversation. But um, definitely come to this forum and join it. Um, and it's, it's definitely a lot of topics going on here about affiliate marketing. It's forum.affiliatesummit.com. And, and, you know, Affiliate Summit is a great, you know, a great place to go. The next one is going to be in Philadelphia. You should definitely try to check that out. Um, and usually in um, August, I want to say, August and January. January, they do it in Vegas, and August, they do it in the, in the East usually in New York, but this year it's going to be in Philly. Uh, so I've included a link there. Um, you know, I've covered a lot of topics I wanted to cover. So does anyone have any questions? I can, um, is the chat enabled, everyone? Um, if anyone wants to ask a question, then they, I'll answer it right here and answer your questions. Okay, it should be um, to the entire audience. So, if 
anyone wants to ask me anything in particular, then um, fire away. I'll wait maybe a couple minutes and see if anyone asks anything. Um, I could unmute. Should I unmute everyone and see what happens? That could be exciting. Um, why don't we do that? I'll unmute everyone. Uh, this could be this could be a more of an adventure than it. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to do that because getting a lot of feedback. But um, let me check the chat. No questions. Let's check here. Okay, wait. Here's some questions. Okay. You go up here. You just go to the top. A lot of questions. Great. Of course, um, I can't see them like I want to. But isn't that the way it always is? Yes, we can hear you. Is everything okay? Okay. Let me go to a question. I can't hear you. Um, I can hear Evan. Let's see. <laughs> okay, appreciate you sharing. What do you prefer? Which you prefer? I'm not sure what they're referencing. I'm interested in doing some affiliate in, in Greece. Well, I mean, yeah, start a site, affiliate with some Greek companies, and you're off and running. What do you suggest to post on Facebook besides have a nice weekend? Anything. Um, share articles from re reliable sources, reputable sources. Um, run sweepstakes. You know, interact with people. Show them where you are, where you are, what you're doing. Get personal, and that will get a lot of interaction. Um, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Those are my favorite three. Um, that looks like about it. So, listen. My email is Evan at experienceadvertising.com. My phone number is 954-662-8010. Again, go to offerinspector.com if you want to check out some great offers. Um, you'll be able to you know, scroll through a whole bunch of great offers with the highest payouts in the industry, and you'll be able to get some great offers for your sites there. Um, my website, again, is experienceadvertising.com. And I will conclude the webinar right now. All right? Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for attending. Done.